sing of your night.
Lord, Hosanna to the King of Glory, Hosanna the Lord of Lords, we worship you, O God, this evening, we bless thy name, King of Glory, thank you for this opportune time, thank you for this gathering, King of Glory, wherever your children are, King of Glory, it is your assembly, it is the assembly that you have prepared this morning that they may attend to you, King of Glory. And you may descend, O God, and overwhelm them. Father, King of Glory, come and take over. Come and be big in our midst. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise the name of the Lord. We bless the Lord for this evening. And uh, we believe the Lord has been good to you. He has protected you. You know, the Bible says, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is unchanging God. Any other person can change. But only God does not change. So we thank him for his loving kindness. He has been there for us. He has preserved our lives. He has provided every need of life. Despite of all that we are going through, he has remained a true God. And we believe the Lord has been there protecting you and uh, you are still strong in him. You are, most, uh, you are almost welcome. 
This is the Kawempe Worship Center live stream. I bring you greetings from Pastor Robert and Robina Kasozi. They are doing good and, and still praying for you. And all the pastoral team of Kawempe Worship Center, we strongly love you and we believe you are, you, 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 you are still go, becoming strong in the Lord. This is Pastor Edward Tucker. The Salong Dabo Dabo. Praise the name of the Lord. We bless the Lord for this evening. We're going to share the word of God. It's going to just take us a few minutes. I pray, I pray, I pray and request that may, uh, you, you just be patient and it will not take long. Uh, uh, Pastor Robert has uh, introduced a theme just a few, a couple of days back. Entitled Walking with God. How can I uh, uh, forget such a theme? I also need to build on the same theme. It is, it is good to continue working with God. Because once you have God, you have all things. And with God, all things are so possible. So uh, we want to continue with the theme, with the same topic. However, I may not give you the same the same script he gave us. Let us run to the immediately run to the book of Ephesians chapter five. Verses 15. We shall read a few verses there. And I will have something to share there. Verse 15 says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not do not be unwise, but un, uh, but do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Uh-huh. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dispersion, but be filled with the Spirit. Speaking to one another in psalms, in hymns, and in spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Verse 20 says, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of, the, of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting to one another in the fear of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for the reading of the word. And as I share this word, King of Glory, may I decrease that you may increase. May you speak to your people in a couple of minutes, in, the, in a few minutes coming, O God. In Jesus' name. And you may say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, See, then you walk circumspectly. Uh, not as fools, but as wise. Uh, you know, the Bible is so interesting here. There are two people here. He, he's talking about, okay, okay, there are two words here used. He says, walk circumspectly. Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So it is now. This takes us to our. To, this takes us to our understanding. You need to find out. 
Are you walking as wise or as unwise? So we are in, we, we are in a moment whereby we need to walk so carefully. The Bible says walk circumspectly, not as fools. Not, uh, not as fools, but uh, not, not, not as fools, but as wise. This means you need to have wisdom now. There are many things that can make you unwise. There are many things that can make you uh, turn you to be a, a, a fool. It is somehow a bad term to use, but it's written in the Bible here. So the Bible says you need to choose to be wise, not as uh, not unwise. So in this time of lockdown, let us always check our lives. What are those things that are making us unwise? Or what things have we been, uh, 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 what life have we been in, have we been living in that has been, uh, that had made our lives unwise? It has been a, 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 a moment of reflection self-examination, a self-check. So the Bible says, we need to be wise. You know, somewhere in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, uh, David says, a foolish man has said in his heart, there is no God. It is only a fool who will say there is no God. But we people who strongly believe and have faith in God, we believe he exists. So that is a wise, a wise decision. That is wisdom. To believe there is God in heaven. So the Bible says, let us walk as wise people. Not as unwise. But there are many things that make us unwise. You become less important. That when people look at you, they will not see any wisdom. Amen. During this period of time, let us check our souls and get rid of things that make us unwise. So that we become so wise that when you happen to speak, you are speaking wisdom. When you happen to do anything, you do it with a liberation because the world is looking for people who can offer solution to them. So if you are unwise, nobody is going to yearn to come to you. That's why the Bible says in verse 16 here, redeeming time because the days are evil. It is time to redeem time. There are things we have given, there are things we have given most of our times and they're just waste time waster, just time wasting. So how are we going to redeem time? Like if you have time to listen to this word of God. If you can have time to call someone and encourage him. If you can, you can have time to sit down in your Bible and read your Bible. That's how you can redeem time. Let me tell you this sense. All of us have gotten the same measure. Uh, I've gotten the same measure of time. We have been given 12 hours uh, a, a, a day. That, uh, no, no, 24 hours a day. 12 hours uh, daytime and 12 hours nighttime. But uh, the, 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 the issue is how, how we, we use that time. The reason why some people are successful it is, uh, it is because it, it is because uh, it, 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 the way they use their time is, is what makes them so successful. The reason why we have rich and poor the rich are utilizing their time. 
And the poor are also using their time. But the one who is using his time maximally and profitably is benefiting out of this time. But it's not that God has given the rich more time than, uh, than the poor. So in this case, we also need to utilize our time fairly. Let us redeem our time. The Bible says for the days are wicked. The days are evil. Let us learn to worship God. Let us learn to do good. The time God has given you he has given you time to reconcile to reconcile with one another as in to reconcile yourself to him. So the time, that's how we can redeem our time. If you have time to pray, please do it and use it profitably and pray. If you have time, if, if someone offended you, it is time to forgive him. That's how you can redeem time. So in this work of wisdom with God, let us learn to redeem our time. Amen. Amen. Because time is uh, the time given to us, we have gotten the, the same share of time. Not that others have more time than, uh, than, than you or, 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 or someone else. Out, outside there. Because God is a respect of no person. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now listen. Therefore do not be an uh -huh. and the, uh, the Bible says therefore uh, verses 8 and do not do not be drunk with, with wine in which is this passion but be filled with the Holy Spirit. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to encourage you as we walk with God. Try to reflect your life. Try to examine yourself. What are those things? You have given more time. And they are not good in the presence of God. What have you done in this period of time? Amen. If you are married. You had issues in your, in your family. This time of lockdown has been a time to reunite with your, your you know, to, to fix things with your wife. To talk to people in your family. It is time to say sorry. If something went wrong, husband, wife, we have been so far, that now we are making two months uh, in our houses. Together. No work. No journeys. No nothing. We are together as a family. Let us redeem time. Forgive one another. Settle disputes. Let's pray together. Pray the Lord. It is time to fix things. Everything happens for the good of them that, that God loves. God loves us. This period does not come just to torment us or to make us cry and give up. This is a divine moment. God has set this period to work on families. So if you are to work with God with wisdom, let our families be together. Let us redeem time. Try to understand that lady. Try to understand that, that lady. Try to understand that gentleman. Amen. It is time to know uh, what he, he likes and what he dislikes. Try to ask your wife her interests. Try to ask your husband her, his preferences. Sit together and know where has been war coming from, where has war been coming from. Why have we been fighting? Why has there been no joy in the family? That's how we can redeem time. 
Let us all redeem time. Pray the name of the Lord. It is time to see God. Let us walk with God. He has given us ample time to do things for the glory of his name. Now the Bible says, do not get drunk of the wine in which there is dispension, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you are to redeem time and to use it profitably, do not get drunk of any other thing uh, that can make you mad. Some people are, are, are getting drunk of money. Some are, are drunk of, of, of ladies. Some are drunk of uh, alcohol. People are drunk of lots of things. But in this period of redeeming time, we must get drunk of the Holy Spirit. Because the Spirit of God will help us, will, will keep us together. Will help, will guide us in all the truth. He will guide us in all the truth. Mumazima Mumazima Pray the Lord. Amina. Pray the Lord. Amina. So let us be filled with the, the Spirit of God. That's one way of redeeming time. Don't get drunk of any other thing. Let's get drunk of the Holy Spirit. Let us be strong in the Holy Spirit. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's how we are going to maximize our time in the mighty precious name of Jesus. And the Bible says still, let us learn to speak to one another in psalms and in hymns and in spiritual songs, singing and making melody in our hearts to the Lord. Mm. So now listen to me. As we walk to God, as we walk with God, together with Him, you know as the Bible says, two cannot walk together unless they have agreed. You must be in agreement to walk with God, be in agreement with, with Him. You know God is looking for someone who can befriend him. Build your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Pray the Lord. I told you earlier before, I, I, I told you earlier before, just look at things that make you unwise. If you've been quarrelsome, stop being quarreling. If you've been, if you've been fighting, stop being a fighter. So instead of fighting, fight the devil. Don't fight people in the house. If, you, if you've been uh, practicing taekwondo and, and you know kickboxing, this time it is time to launch deeper in prayer. Go and kickbox the devil out of your house. That there is a situation that you need to overcome. The people in your house are not the, the issue. They, they, they are not the problem. The devil is the problem. Amen. So let us even learn to improve uh, let us work on our our communication, our language. Knowing how to speak to one another in psalms and in hymns, spiritual songs and singing, making melody. If you have any, any, any musical instrument in your house, utilize it to praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Let your family be merry. Celebrate. Amen. Amen. Let, 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 let your children see how you, you, you jiggle, how, how you, you, can, you become happy. Pray the Lord. Let them not see a lion in the house. This period, 
Whoever has been rude and tough in the house, it's high time you started speaking to one another in psalms and in hymns. Find some songs and sing them. Make fun in your house. Let your, ju- let your children laugh. Do something. You be funny. Make them laugh. Make them feel you. Feel your presence. Amen. This is the this is the time now. Pray the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we, we need we need that's how we can walk with God. And be with him. And he will also speak to us. Amen. Amen. It is a time of of, of coming together. Singing hymns is very important. Don't resort to this, this you know, some people sing uh, songs that are uh, uh, sorrowful songs, very miserable. Don't, 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 don't try to sing what the world is singing. The world is singing about poverty. They are singing about food. What are we going to eat? What are we going to feed our children with? find a song and sing and celebrate the Lord in your house get, get, your, get your empty jerry can and begin to, uh, to play it you know and, and make your, your, your family dance hallelujah because everything can praise God know how you can redeem your time don't grow old now why are you becoming old as faster? Just do something and celebrate. Pray the name of the Lord. Get, get, get a piece of clothes and tie around your waist. Begin to dance. If you have been in the house and some maize flower, prepare with a lot of joy, eat and dance and celebrate. Hallelujah. It is not time to focus on failures. It is not time to focus on on, uh, on your bank account which is running dry. It is time to sing hymns. Tie yourself with something and dance and dance. Let every day be a party in your house. Celebrate yourself. Don't keep the ties far from you. Your ties, the neckties, just bring them out. Some people are saying it's not time to tie ties. Well, no, you get a tie, put on a shoot and, and sit in your house and, uh, you know, and, and feel good, feel happy. Mm. Get out your gomas and utilize your time, your, your body, and put it on your body and look so smart, do makeup, and your children will ask you, Mommy, it is lockdown, where are you going? Uh, they, are not, they have not yet released cars, no public means. Tell them, I'm celebrating my life, I'm celebrating my Lord in this house. Amen. Amen. Let us walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. As I wind up, let us not allow the devil to steal from us the best God has given us. Let us not allow him to steal the joy God has given us. Let us walk as wise people. We have a living God. Which nation has gotten a God as the God of Israel we serve. The one who answers by fire. The one who fights for his people. The one who provides for his people even in the time of scarcity. The one who fights for his people when they are just folding hands. Which nation has gotten a goal like that one? We have a God who fights for us. Let us redeem time and have a, a, a relationship with him. Let us redeem time and, 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 be in, uh, and be in love and forgive others. 
Praise the name of the Lord. You need to pick up your phone and call somebody and encourage him. Pick up your phone and tell, call your mother in the village. Hallelujah. Amen. You may not have enough time to call people and enough man, uh, credit to call people. But you can, you can send them an SMS and tell them I love you. Encourage someone. Be a blessing to someone. That's one way of, uh, of redeeming time. I'm telling you we need to enjoy the presence of God. Pray the name of the Lord. The Bible says right here as I wind up in, in Ephesians chapter 4 again just you, 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 you open back a bit. Verses 25 the Bible says therefore putting away lying let, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor for we are members of one another. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Mm. Nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole, uh, who stole who stole still no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may give, have something to give him who has need. So saints, as you listen to those words there, the Bible, the Bible says, put away all lying. Let each one of you speak truth to his neighbor. It is time to be, you know, to draw nigh to God, to draw closer to God. That's the only way we can walk with him and redeem our time. God is for us. And the Bible says, if you are hungry, do not allow, do not sin, and do not allow the sun to go down on your wrath. Never give the devil place in your life. Oh, listen to this. The Bible says, let him who stole steal no longer. Wow, if you have been having a habit in your life, maybe it's a habit of, uh, of alcoholism, maybe it's a habit of uh, fighting, any other habit. Could be a lying habit. Maybe it's a habit of uh, you, you feel bad about others. There are many habits we may have. You may not want to be blamed. Maybe you are a critic. Maybe you are just someone who does not appreciate. The Bible says, verses 28, Ephesians 4 verses 28 says, Let him who stole still no longer, but let him labor with his hand that he may give something to the one in need. Uh, Pray the name of the Lord. Amen. As I wind up, try to do good. Be a good person. Be a good Christian. Love your neighbors. Pray every day. Love your wife. Love your children. Children, respect your parents. Hallelujah. If you're working for someone in the house, be respectful. Do everything as though you are doing it to God Himself. And the Lord will richly bless you. And the Lord will be your friend. Remember, let us keep our walk with God. And redeem time. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus. May the Lord richly bless you. I believe, I believe this word 
this word has been so powerful and has impacted your life. Could we please pray together? Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this time, O oh God. Thank you for the word that we have just heard, O oh God. You said we should walk circumspectly and not as unwise but as wise people. Give us the wisdom them to walk rightly, O oh God. That we may walk in the path of righteousness. Bless us, King of Glory. Tonight, King of Glory, as we pray, help us to get rid of habits in our lives. Him that has been quarrelsome. Him that has been fighting. Him that has been a critic. Him that has been a, a so a uh, uh, so rude or oh God and bitter him that has been so you know father a lot of habits in our lives oh God we pray oh God king of glory may you open our hearts oh God and remove everything out father sweep our hearts oh God deliver somebody king of glory unite families oh God work on that family in the mighty name of Jesus let there be a, 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 a husband wife and children relationship ship in the mighty precious name of Jesus. Father, I decree healing. I decree provision. I decree, I decree life. And I declare salvation wherever. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' name. And God's people say, Amen. Wow. Wow. Maybe you've been watching this 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 this, this, uh, this message, and uh, you have never given your life to Jesus Christ. And you feel like, oh, how can I just continue walking? How can I be without God? Now is the time. Could you please uh, repeat after me? Say, dear Jesus, I have known you now. I take you into my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are my God. You are my Savior. I love you, Jesus. And I know my name is written in the book of life. Father, King of glory, I pray that you put your hand on me. I encourage me and make me stronger in the Lord. Amen. Now you are born again. One thing you're going to do is to find a good Bible teaching church. Tell them someday I was watching a live stream Kawempa Worship Center. And I became born again. And they will teach you all the truth about Jesus and you'll be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Yeah, maybe before I make the, I make down, I put down this microphone. You may want to uh, to bless uh, this ministry. You want to give your offering. You want to send your tithe. The numbers are running, are running below your screen. Please send your offering there. Send, send your tithes there. And the Lord will richly bless you. Remember, we have a program of distributing some food to people who are lacking food. You may be touched to, contrib to, to contribute towards the food basket. The Lord will bless you. I pray a blessing upon you as you give. May the Lord bless the works of your hand. You shall never lack. May you have abundance in Jesus' name. God bless you until we meet again. Good evening.